Now animated movies are one of the best and famous genres other than Bollywood movies. People love how crispy and smooth the animation is, the amount of man hours going to each and every character to make them unique and outstanding. With famous titles like The Cat in Boots, the Bruno Mars movie, The Cooking Rat. I mean, this ain't the chicken noodle soup that I ordered, but I'll take it. Soup with a live action ratatouille versus stew a little. And that one about singing animals. Come on, it's recording now. Let's try that again. Come on, sing for me. Do it again. <laughs> the genre has really great movies everywhere you look, but deep down under, there is Plan B. <laughs> With reviews like 1 out of 10, I'm so scared. 1 out of 10, oh my god, my eyes are bleeding. And 10 out of 10, this movie cured my shingles. The people who have watched it have never fully recovered from the disgusting, vile, and downright horrible things they saw. Take DiCaprio Leonardo, not related to Leonardo DiCaprio. He watched Plan B once, and this is what he had to say. I honestly couldn't believe it. Me, DiCaprio Leonardo, not related to Leonardo DiCaprio. Just couldn't. The terrifying animation, the horrible audio. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't do this. Plan B is a movie made by Sparkplug Entertainment, the same company that has classics such as a Car's Life, Sparky's Big Adventure, A Car's Life, 2, A Car's Life, 3, and best of all, A Car's Life, 4. And the Oscar goes to... A Car's Life, 4. Anyway, the movie starts off with bees collecting nectar for the beehive, and we introduce the first characters. First off, we got Buffy, who has possibly the most annoying voice in this movie. You're like kidding, right? Daisies are so last century. What if someone sees me? We are also introduced to Bing, the main character and the leader of this group. They get to the beehive and we meet Queen Akif. Where... where's Queen Beatrice? Gone. Punished. <gasps> Why? We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. But we find out the original queen is banished and nowhere to be found. They replace her with the key. Also, remember when I said this? Who has possibly the most annoying voice in this movie? Yeah, I changed my mind. Nothing is worse than an annoying British accent. Anyway, the queen isn't pleased with being steam honey person. Honey! No! From now on, drill and drain. Huh? Choose one flower. Drill! into it and drain every last drop of fluid but that do it so she tells them to just drill through flowers and dry them out completely and go to the next one while collecting nectar from the flowers we found out about bing's friend bonnie who wants bing to leave the beehive and come to hers but bing politely declines we also learned that bonnie here is a real american bonnie you're a radical <laughs> if believing in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness makes me radical, then yes I am. Right back at the beehive. You shall compete to see which team can produce more honey in one hour. The queen has set a competition, and it goes like this. Whoever can collect the most amount of honey will get nothing. But if you collect the least amount of honey, the queen will banish you. Perhaps. Banish him, perhaps. <laughs> that should look like the battle pass. So, the rush is on. But already they can't get the nectar because the flowers have dried out. Nothing. Yuck. It tastes like cardboard. So, because of this, they go to get the nectar from the flowers on the Washington Better Monument. Try. We need flowers now. But where? I know. The Washington Monument. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. Also, for some reason, the animators think that the bees can move a painting by itself. Anyways, the evil bee, you can tell it's evil because it has black eyes, stings the toad. After the bee stings the toad, it sees the bees on the painting and starts attacking them, but they make it out alive. Except Pistol, who couldn't make it. And instead, Boney, Bing's friend, comes along and creates the honey. The honey! Bing asks if Pistol will be okay. And this bee gives the most unconvincing reply ever. <sighs> I think Pistol's alright? Uh, sure. So, Bing loses to the evil bee. The contest winner is... Beza. But instead of banishing him, the queen, Akif, just doesn't. So, that whole scene was for nothing. Anyways, instead she wants the hive to be bigger, with more honey. Just do it! Fast forward, and it's nighttime. Bing tells the fat bee to stop eating the beehive, and he says, okay. 
Okay. Uh, the evil bee tells them that they will no longer be able to sleep and they have to work 24 7, which they take very well. That's so unfair! So it's morning now and Bing has to make royal jelly for the queen. And he finds help in the former queen, Beatrice. But Evil Bee finds out and snitches on them. And so the queen banishes Bonnie. I banish you, Bonnie. Why? You two. Smug. Now leave. After that, they need honey, so they go to the last place they went to sleep. But before they finish their sleep, they're interrupted by the sound of a truck backing up. And instead of Bing telling them to leave and, oh, I don't know, find anywhere else to collect nectar, he just tells them to continue. And sadly, the lid closes. and they get stuck in there forever, and the movie ends. No, of course not, there's still 9 minutes left. So, because he just saw his friends basically die, he enters his Joker phase. Bye bye Bing, bye bye Bing, bye bye Get out! And gets banished. And after a talk with the former queen, he figures out how she was banished, and Akif became queen instead. One moment I was sharing a friendly pot of royal jelly with the elders, the next I was out, and Akif was queen. A pot of royal jelly? Something fishy. And for some reason, Akif just admits to it so fast. Akif, poison the elders! No. Okay, fine. So I tried to bump off a few old bees. So what? I was born to be queen. So because of that, Akif tells the fighter bees to fight them. Bing's team obviously win, uh, even though the bees are trained. Captain, we're not fighter bees! And while Akif is giving her monologue on how she will return, a toad that barks tries to eat her. Yes, the the toad barks. Time. Ah! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! I think you should come live in our hive. And the credits roll. Now, I will admit, I did come into this movie ready to bash and make fun of it. And I did. But it's a pretty good movie if you like having nightmares. And with that said, I would like to end this video with a closing statement. A review by Audacious Supernatural. They said, This was one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. The stupendous character development makes me question every director for not following this director's methods. I cried myself to sleep thinking about how amazing this film was. The film made you question what really is life. What have we been doing as humans, not as bees? It gives a really accurate depiction of a bee life and how a bee feels. The ending, which featured the universe enveloping in on itself, really tells how much our survival relies on bees. The dramatic scene between the two main bees made me question my existence. The actor's passionate delivery of every single line made me shiver with excitement. This film has changed my life for the better. Please take time out of your life to enjoy this cinematic masterpiece.